Hello again. Are you ready for another story? Today I've got Dr. Dog by Babette Cole. Let's see what he gets up to. This is the Gumboil family. There's Grandad, Ma and Pa Gumboil, and all their children. And this is their dog. He is a doctor. Look, he's got his bag and he seems to be doing some sort of experiment. Dr. Dog went to a conference in Brazil to give a talk about bone marrow. Oh, he's got the microphone. There's his notes. Everybody's paying very close attention and they're writing down what he says. He must be a very good conference speaker. While he was away, Grandad and the Gumboil children got ill. Oh. <coughs> they don't look well, do they? Oh, what's up with her? What's wrong with baby? We better get him back, said Ma Gumboil. So they sent a telemessage to Brazil. There's Dr. Dog. He's having a quiet drink on the balcony, enjoying the sunshine. The message says, we are all ill. Come home. Love the gumboils. And so Dr. Dog came home. The weather at home is not so nice, is it? Kurt Gumboil had been secretly smoking in the bicycle shed. He had a wicked cough. <coughs> <coughs> it's not good to smoke, said Dr. Dog. These spongy things inside our chests are called lungs. They are our breathing machines. Smoking fills them up with dirty tar, and then they don't work properly, and so we cough. Gertie Gumboil had not been wearing her raincoat and hat. She caught a cold and got a sore throat. The germs attacked her tonsils. Ooh, they're all red. She's got tonsillitis, said Dr. Dog. I wonder what he's going to do. I will have to operate. <gasps> so she's on the hospital bed. And he took out her tonsils. Kev Gumboil was scratching his head like mad. Oh. Oh. He's got nits, said Dr. Dog. These are eggs laid by little insects called lice. This is one. They live in your hair. Oh, he's sticking his tongue out. How rude. He plastered Kev's hair with smelly shampoo to kill the lice. So Kev and Kev had to wear it all day at school. Here's the blobs of shampoo on his hair. He's not very happy, is he? Never swap combs and brushes with anyone, said Dr. Dog. Baby Gumboil did not wash his hands after going to the toilet. Ooh. Then he sucked his thumb. Ooh. And he let other children stick their fingers up his nose. Ugh. So he got tummy ache. He's caught worms, said Dr. Dog. They are breeding in his tubes. <gasps> You can see baby's tummy and there's his intestines and this is the tube that leads all the way to his bottom where the poo comes out. The worms wriggle inside you until they reach your bottom. There they lay itchy little eggs. If you scratch your bum, the eggs go under your fingernails. Sucking your thumb makes the eggs go back into your tummy where they hatch again to make more worms. Never scratch your bum and suck your thumb, said Dr. Dog. Fiona Gumboil felt dizzy. It's all those cartwheels she's been turning, laughed her parents. Rubbish, growled Dr. Dog. She's got earache. There are tiny bones inside our ears that help us balance. Earache 
earache can affect these and make us dizzy. Dr. Dog gave her some pills. Grandad had been eating too many baked beans and drinking too much beer. He's got terrible wind, said Dr. Dog. Here's the beans, and who's drinking the beer? Here's a picture of your inside tubes. Oh, it's just like baby. There goes the beer into his tummy, and here's the intestines, and there's the tube that goes all the way to his bum. Beer and baked beans make gases in your tummy. The only way they can escape is to blast out of your bottom. It's disgusting, Dr. Dog told Ma and Pa Gumboil. If you don't take better care of your family, there will be a serious accident. So what, said the Gumboils. We've got you to look after us, haven't we? Meanwhile, Grandad's dangerous gases were building up. Rumble, rumble, rumble. And can you guess what happened next? He farted so hard, he blew the roof right off the house. Bang! <gasps> there goes the roof. There goes Grandad. Whee! Oh, the neighbours are in uproar. The gumballs are running out of the house. The cat fell off the windowsill. What a commotion. Told you so, said Dr. Dog. Once the roof had been put back, and he made everyone better, Dr. Dog fell ill himself. You're suffering from stress, Dog, said his doctor. What you need is a holiday away from that pesky family. Ah, just what the doctor ordered, said Dr. Dog. They'll never find me here. Look, he's on a desert island. The sun is shining. Oh, maybe it's a lovely clear night sky in back. And there he is on the beach. He's got another drink and enjoying the music and watching the dancers. And oh, there's a message here in a bottle. Need holiday to recover from accident. We'll be joining you soon. Love the gumboils. Ah, <gasps> and here they come. Cooey! Oh no, said Dr. Dog. I don't think his troubles are over, do you? Bye-bye.